Representative Harper, I, I certainly appreciate your intent in bringing this bill. I think it's uh, totally appropriate to recognize uh, people from the state of Illinois who have risen to uh, positions of global influence and had a lasting legacy that the world will know for years to come. Uh, I, I, I am questioning, though, uh, a couple of aspects of this. So uh, first, as my colleague mentioned, uh, we have a pretty significant financial impact uh, with making this a payday off. Um, so just to clarify, this would mean that uh, all state facilities that could close would close. Uh, people who are looking to go to their local office uh, to fill out paperwork, to receive services, um, those folks would, would show up and the doors would be closed and lights would be off. Is that right? Well, that is right, just like on any other state holiday. Okay. And uh, for those state agencies that could not close, uh, Department of Corrections, State Police, places like that, um, all those uh, employees would be paid um, an additional stipend for having worked the day, uh, April, uh, August 4th, whatever day of the week that happens to fall. Is that correct? That is correct. So we have a, a couple of different costs there. First, in the lost productivity uh, and you know, the, the difficulty for, for uh, residents to access services on this day, as well as the ongoing cost of what would be a normal day, a normal day's business, now suddenly that costs us more to have those folks come to work. So that's certainly a hesitation we have. The second side, though, comes from just looking at the fact that throughout Illinois history, we've been privileged to have several presidents who have come from the great state of Illinois or spent significant portions of time in the state of Illinois. I would note, and I'm, I, I know this with great local pride, I represent Dixon, the hometown of President Ronald Reagan. President Reagan's the only president who was born in the state of Illinois, the only president who went to grade school and high school and college in the state of Illinois, the only president to spend the formative years among the people of the great state of Illinois, but we don't have a holiday for President Reagan. Why, why exclude? Why don't you file the bill? Let's do it. Well, you know, I'll file a bill that says let's recognize uh, Reagan Day but uh, avoid the first things I talked about, which is the significant increase in costs, the difficulty for citizens to access services on that day. Uh, I'd love to, to, to co-sponsor this bill if it were just a designation and didn't come with a huge financial impact. I think we, we have to look at this and, and understand that hopefully in years to come, we'll have even more presidents who come from Illinois or more people who go on to change the world come from Illinois. And I don't think we're in a position to uh, extend a holiday, a paid day off, every time we have somebody from Illinois who goes on and does great things. We have a, a, a good way to recognize the contributions of important Illinoisans like Barack Obama, like President Reagan, like President Grant, President Lincoln, uh, without incurring significant financial costs and making logistical challenges there. So if you would entertain a, a, a bill to, to mark the day, to celebrate that day, uh, to mark the historical contributions uh, and, and not throw in the significant financial challenges, I join you on that and I gladly vote yes. Because of that though, and because of the inconsistent way of treating one president over other presidents differently, uh, presidents who are from Illinois just as, just as, or spent time in Illinois just as he did, uh, I just can't support this legislation today. And I encourage you though to look for a way to do this, to do this without uh, incurring financial costs and treating all presidents the same. Thank you. Thank you.